Please welcome Fitbod. Three minutes on the clock. Three, two, go. Thank you, Jason. Hi, everyone. This is Jesse. I'm Alan, and we're Fitbod. Fitbod gives you your next best workout, calculated through machine learning. Let me show you how. Meet Jack and Irene, two of our early Fitbod users. They're active, they know their way around the gym, but even they have the same issue you and I do. Planning an effective strength routine is hard and takes time. Here's how Fitbod solves this for Jack. Jack opens the app and sees his recommended workout for the day. He's traveling for work and his hotel gym only has dumbbells. No problem, he just taps into his elite settings, sets his available equipment, and Fitbot's linear optimizer will recompute his workout given only the equipment he has available. <laughs> Jack starts the workout and taps into his first exercise and sees the recommended sets, reps, and weight that he should perform. Using his Apple Watch, he logs the first set and sees the optimal rest time before beginning the next set. Jack completes the exercise and finishes the workout. And here, Fitball will show him all of his past workouts and the muscle groups that he has engaged. Fitball will then assign a fatigue value to each of his core muscle groups, shown here in a body heat map that recovers following a linear regression. Finally, Fitball will compute his next best workout. Let me show you what's going on under the hood. As we just saw, Fitball uses Jack's tracked exercise data to compute his workout. The workout also reflects his individual preferences, his gym profile, his schedule, his fitness goal. Most importantly, Fitbot utilizes the best practices of exercise science, using time-tested formulas and theories like nonlinear periodization and muscle confusion. The result is a fully customized workout, personalized down to the set, rep, and weight, that gets better over time. Eight million people pay personal trainers $10 billion a year to do this. Our market is bigger. We can offer the same expert fitness guidance to a broader range of people at a cheaper cost. The 23 million gym goers and 58 million Americans that pay for a gym. Our one key stat is daily exercises logged. It's growing 27% month over month. We're hitting all time highs each week, even past the point when we were featured by the App Store. We have 3,700 people paying for us. Of our downloads, 7.5% convert into Elite, and when they do, they stay with us at about an 84% month-over-month retention. Going forward, our growth projects are going to tap into social distribution. We're going to let Jack and Irene work out together and compete against each other. We're Fitbod. Please download us in the App Store today. Thank you. Okay. Feedback from our judges. Anyone? Questions and feedback? Uh, there's a lot of competition out there. Skimble, Swerk It, others. They've got somewhat of a head start on you. What are your thoughts on how you're going to differentiate, catch up, exceed, everything else? Uh, you're totally correct. There are a ton of fitness apps that all claim to be a personal trainer in your pocket. And so what we did is we actually applied a very unique approach. We want to give the user his or her best workout. And we started with the best practices of exercise science, used machine learning to deliver this to the user. That's a fully dynamic workout that, that really, I think, separates us from all the other fitness apps. You have to have the watch? Uh, we do have a watch app. Uh, you can log your set. You can do your entire workout through the watch. Alan, can you describe the machine learning and, and how it generates a customizable program? Great, great, great point, Allison. So the machine learning, the bulk of it is a linear optimizer that selects each one of the exercises in the workout. Once it selects the exercises, it goes back and sets the, it sets the sets, reps, and weights. Sorry about that. Sets, reps, and weights for each exercise. And so what it does is this is all based on your individual preferences and your past workout data. Each action you perform during a workout, whether it's logging a set, replacing an exercise, removing, increasing or decreasing the weight that's recommended, we take this into account in creating your next workout. So how does your product improve over time? I would imagine to some extent um, there's a sort of core set of uh, features that you continue to recommend for people, but I imagine over time that would get a little bit boring. Yeah, yeah, awesome question. So uh, 
the, any action you do when you uh, log a set, when you log each workout, we learn from that and we, we allow you to uh, offer a better workout. Now in terms of the exercise practices, we apply certain methods, uh, nonlinear periodization, pre weapons, like I can get into this forever. Uh, we can talk off offline if you want. But we apply exercise science practices to build a workout routine that over time gives you results. The, you mentioned supervised machine learning. What's, what's the supervision part of it? Can you talk to me a little bit about that and, and how is the model set up? Um, who is setting those up and how do you know if they're best practices or not? Sure, definitely. So there, there's two parts. There's uh, supervised machine learning and there's best practices of exercise science. And our supervised machine learning actually uh, comes from my background. I used to work in finance doing automated trading and I selected stocks for a portfolio. Now with our workout, we now transfer it in exercises for the stocks. And so it basically is a linear optimizer following certain, uh, certain, I guess, parameters and data that we have. We currently have seven million sets in our database that we use to calculate your next workout. As for the exercise science, we have uh, two expert personal trainers that work with us to create the workout. And so whereas at my background, I was able to provide the algorithm, I worked really closely with our personal trainers to actually make sure the end result product, which is our focus, is the best possible workout. What's the vector for acquiring a customer? Most people who start a routine start with a new trainer, a recommended trainer, or a book, or something like that. Is that... Is your product a vector for people, or are you closely coupled with, with a vector? Uh, with that, that, that's an awesome point. And I think uh, a lot of our users initially are people who already work out, either formally with a trainer, currently with a trainer, or on their own. They know what they're doing. They're looking for something to tell them what to do so they don't have to think. Now, our, we can expand our market down, easily downstream to the intermediate, the beginner uh, cohort, and allow them to receive a workout, and they have come to us that they loved it because they don't need to think, and they are no longer afraid to go to the gym because Fitbot tells them what to do and demystifies the gym for them. Do you yes. plan to do you plan to have video in the future? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, there are videos, and we actually uh, we filmed them ourselves, so they're high quality videos. We, that comes with a gift that's offline. If you like a full video plus text instructions, we can let you download an MP4. I'm just two quick questions. One is, um, can you remind me of the revenue model? And then are you also planning to move beyond strength training into other categories? Sure, yeah, yeah, great point. So uh, we talked about our revenue model uh, briefly. It is a subscription-based model. We let you download the app for free, use all of the features. If you'd like to customize the workout in any way, like we saw Jack uh, set his available equipment, if he had any special goals, if you want to exclude exercises, then we asked him to upgrade to a subscription. Uh, that's seven dollars a month. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I asked your second question. Are there other categories? Are you going to oh, yeah. into like aerobics, for example, or cardio, or what? Of course, and, and that's something our users have uh, been asking for. Uh, they want to couple cardio, see the muscle impact, and get, get a great workout. And so that's definitely another vertical that we can go into. And we're also talking with current cardio apps about integrating with them. Other, other verticals, of course, are the very beginner workout, where we can start them off with a nice, easy workout. And also nutrition. We can get into nutrition as well. Okay, let's hear it for FitBod. Well done.